Hey everyone, in this video, we're gonna go over how to set up your custom alerts screener. To get to the custom alerts feed, click on the menu and select screeners, then custom alerts. Now the custom alerts screener is exactly what it sounds like, a dashboard where you can set up and track your very own customized alerts. You can have your custom screener alert you about anything from analyst rating changes, FDA updates, insider and politician transactions, or your own stock and options contract filters. All of the alert options have their own set of filters, and Unusual Whales provides a number of pre-built custom screeners as well. But in this video, we're just going to demonstrate how to build your own option alert screener. To build out a custom options alert, we'll select option contract. The option contract interval option also works if you're looking to emulate the interval flow feed with your custom alert. But for this video, we're just going to set up an options contract alert. In the contract alert tab, you'll first select whether you want to get alerts for all options that meet the criteria or just for specific tickers. You can also set it to only alert contracts directly from your watch lists. Here, we're going to select all. Now in the filters tab, you can be as specific as you'd like. For the sake of this example, we'll keep it simple and paint with a broad brush with the filter. The average fill is a good filter to use if you're only looking for a certain price range or have a max limit to spend per contract in mind. For this example, I'm going to leave this one blank. For this custom alert filter, I want all tickers of all market caps included, so I'm going to keep the market cap blank as well. The open interest itself I'll leave blank, but I will change the volume to open interest ratio to only alert flow with two times the volume as open interest. This way I can filter out high open interest contracts that may be harder to determine opening versus closing trades. So here we'll set this range to two or more. Next for premium, I'm going to put a minimum premium of $2,000. This will miss some flow, but it'll also filter out tiny orders of one contract, two contracts, It'll just help us feed out some of that noise. For spread, I only want to see single leg trades. I don't want spreads for this specific filter. So I'm going to set spread to zero, meaning 0% 0 of the flow that hits this filter will be part of a spread trade. For this next section below, I'm going to leave these sliders untouched. I'm not too concerned for the sake of this filter with each one. But just so you know, you can control how much of the flow fills at the bid and at the ask by moving these sliders to ascertain what percentage of the flow on any given options contract is at the ask or at the bid. But like I said, for this example, we're going to keep these blank and just baseline what the filter starts off with. Below that on issue types, as we've said before, ETF and index flow can be very noisy. So to kind of filter out that noise, I'm going to select common stock on issue types. Flow can still be useful on ETFs and indices, but for this video, we'll keep it to individual stocks. For the type of call versus put, I'm going to leave these blank as well. I want to see calls and puts. Now, what I will change at the bottom here is this volume greater than open interest slider. Because as I mentioned, I want to see trades with more volume than open interest with this custom alert feed. And I'll also set is out of the money on because I want to see out of the money flow specifically for this filter. So next we'll click create alert and boom. Now we have a custom alert with a feed that will only show transactions with two times the volume versus open interest. No ETFs or indices with a minimum premium per transaction of $2,000 on contracts that meet the criteria for out of the money only. Now that you have your custom filter, you can also enable push notifications to it 
for you on your mobile device via the app. All you have to do is install the app, then head to settings on the browser, then clicking notifications and select which alerts you want to ping to your mobile device.